couple of daddy to have a mirror put on the back of my paddle. Ashley, just pay attention to the game, would you? Uh-oh. Stacy Stickler, you made me break a nail. I want you disqualified. Stacy beat us fair and square. And she doesn't even have a partner. Actually, I do have a partner. Sort of. Will we win again? Come on, Bradley. We're only one game away from winning this year's intramural championship. Yeah, I can't wait to see my name on the coffin cup. And most importantly, the winner gets to pick what next year's competition will be. I'm gonna choose Ugh. an international wiener dog competition. Huh? huh? To raise wiener dog awareness, respect, and adulation worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> we should have an upscale event, like an antique show. Oh yeah. That sounds really exciting. This Mr. Fizzy originates from the house of yawn. Blah, blah, boring, boring. The Google marks indicate that it was once gummed by Sir Dullesville. whoop de doo blah, blah. <clears throat> There's more to life than who could jump higher or hit a ball farther, you know? Whatever. Besides, it's not your choice yet. You still have to win the finals. Don't you worry, Franco. We're gonna win. Stace, we gotta win. Remember a couple of years ago when Lance and Russell got to choose? And we had a Doom Ball tournament? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Prepare to meet your Doom Ball, Scradley. Yeah. Doom, de doom, doom. <laughs> And next year, it's gonna be Super Double Doom Ball. What do you mean? Didn't you hear, Dweeb? You're playing us in the championship. How did you guys pull that off? Jeez. Everyone who played us came down with cramps. Yeah, but cramps. Paddle you later, Scradley. <laughs> Come on, B-Man. We've got a lot of work to do. You need to train, B-Man, or I'll have to do this all by myself. Again. If we're gonna win, you need to work on your agility and flexibility, your balance, and your focus and coordination. Did you listen to a word I said? Sure. I was just thinking that with all this exercise, I'm gonna be losing a lot of fluids. You better stock up on Mr. Fizzy. Now we're ready. You've got nothing to worry about, Stace. Bradley, be careful! Whoa! Whoa Stace, are you all right? Uh, uh, oh. Oh. How can I play in the finals tomorrow with my arm in a cast? Maybe it's only a little broken. It's broken in two places for your big, fat, all your fault information. Oh, man. Lance and Russell will cream me. I'm doomed. Doom bald. Oh. Bradley. Bradley. Check this out. Oh. Wow, you can really wing him with that cast on, Stace. Ow! Oh. But I can't hit it backhand. It hurts way too much. Oh, who am I kidding? When Mr. Lederhosen sees my cast, he'll probably disqualify me for illegal equipment. Then we won't let him see it. Well, that's the silliest disguise I've ever seen. Okay, then. Uh-oh. Hey, Scradley. We're here to give you dweebs a chance to quit now and save yourselves a major paddling tomorrow. Yeah, paddling. Yes, Stacy. You should just forget your dumb whiner dog pageant. That's wiener dog for your big fat information. Well, Who's that? Whoa. Who is that? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, 
um, this is, uh, Castina. Yeah, Castina. Stacy's cousin from Norway. She doesn't talk much. Norwegians are a shy, herring-loving people. That's great, Stickler. Your cousin can watch us demolish you guys in the finals tomorrow. I love your hair, Castina. We must trade styling secrets sometime. Come on, dude. You're freaking me out. <gasps> Castina? Hey, I was rushed. Down with table tennis. Up with test tubes. Jeez, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the finals of the Coffin Cup. Is this exciting or what? The ultimate test of style versus stink. And now... to make Stacy a coach. And my new partner is, all the way from the fjords, the lovely Castina. Team Funky Town? I'm so sure. Nice try, son. What? But all substitutions huh? have to be voted on by the players. Now, all those against Castina playing, raise your hands. All those in favor? The vote is three to one in favor. Majority rules. Castina plays. Aw, dude. That's it, dweebs. No more Mr. Nice Lance. Rawr! What I call an asteroid belt. Eat molten meteor, losers! Ow! <gasps> ah! oh. Castina! Hey! Ah! Illegal substitution! Stickler, you and Bradley are disqualified! Castina's hair was too thick and luxurious to be natural. Huh. We win! We win! You've got an appointment in the Doom Wall ring next year, Scradley. Not if we have anything to say about it, Big Brother. Pepperoni and I challenge you to one game. Winner take all. It's highly irregular, but it's okay with me if it's okay by Lance. Okay, Squirt. Time to show everybody who the champ in the family is. <laughs> we'll get you another mop, dude. We got a game to play. No! No! Good shot, Pepperoni. People don't realize there's a lot more to sports than mere physical prowess. For example, with extensive geophysical, mathematical, and wind tunnel research, it is possible to create a serve that is almost impossible to return. <laughs> As a tribute to Stacy's bravery in the face of grievous injury, I declare next year's intramural event to be a wiener dog pageant. As long as Pepperoni can enter as an honorary wiener dog. Castina! There will be no classes this
this Friday. Yeah! 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 Instead, you're all taking the standardized aptitude test. Holy mackerel! What kind of test? Altitude tests? I'm at 50,000 feet. I'm getting dizzy. I can't hold her. Come in, tower. Come in. Not altitude. Altitude test. <laughs> you mean an outdude test? Eat my flakes, abominable snow girl. No! <laughs> Slow down there, fella. It's an aptitude test. Whoa! <laughs> Aptitude, from the Latin aptus, meaning perfectly suited. Aptitude tests indicate achievable and realistic paths to pursue when you grow up. Jeez! Does that mean if we don't pass, we don't get to grow up? I don't want to be in elementary school forever. It's too hard. I didn't know we were going to have a test. I can't find my book. My dog ate my homework. This is a different kind of test. There's no right or wrong. Just answer honestly. It may help you in choosing a career. Career? Why didn't you say so? I already know what I'm gonna be. A cheese pooper critic. Um. I found the hot as heck Texas chili and cheese pooper to be underspiced and dull. Without the trademark pooper pop, I give it a thumbs down. Cut! Sorry, kid. You just don't have what it takes. Here's a show with real talent. The Stacy Stickler Hour! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Spoilburger. You mean Mr. Bradley Spoilburger. Places, everybody! Oh! In this scene, the gorgeous hunk. Lance Halitosis. No way, Bradley! This is my future career. No one said it was gonna be pretty. In this episode, Lance Halitosis takes off in his spaceship on a very dangerous mission to... Don't say it, Bradley! Uranus! Real mature, Bradley! Roll camera and action! Oh, Lance, it will break my heart if you leave. Please don't go. Give it a little emotion, Stacy. We need tears. Bring in the effects team. <laughs> Russell, you do it every time, dude. Don't ever change, baby. What? You want to come over to my place, eat cheese poopers, drink Mr. Fizzy, and watch Space Chumps? Uh-uh. I've got to study. What? Study? You? Are you sick, me man You don't study for an aptitude test. Just answer the questions honestly. It's a test to help you. When have you ever heard of a test that helps you? It decides our future. I'm going to study. What do you think Rubber Man's favorite color would be? You can't be Rubber Man. That's not a real career. You can't study for that. Whatever, Stace. But I'm studying, and by tomorrow, I'm going to have all the answers. It's been weeks since I've slept. I locked myself away in a monastery and transcribed the combined knowledge of the ancient wise men onto the scrolls. Bradley, hurry up! We're gonna be late for the aptitude test. No! My life's work! Hey, B-Man, why are you bringing your notebook to school? Today's aptitude test day. These were my aptitude notes, but I knocked the Mr. Fizzy all over them. I guess you're just gonna have to answer the questions honestly. Yeah, right. I studied all night. I got all the answers right here. My future is secure. Open your test to the first page. You have 30 seconds to finish the section. When you complete the section, close the test booklet. You may not reopen a test booklet once it is closed. You may not close the test booklet once it is open. You may not look at the test booklet once you have looked away. Fold side A to side B, moisten flap C, insert into opening D, and there is no talking in the testing environment. How will I ask a question if I can't talk? What if I have to go to the bathroom? Where is that voice coming from anyway? Silence! Ah! What do you like better? A, the mountains, B, the Amazon, C, the outback, D, none of the above, E, all of the above. E, all of the above. 
Arr, unhand me! What evil design have you got in your scurvy-filled head? You, sailor, are shark bait! Arr! Yeah, bait. Yeah! Oh! Arr, help me! Say there, are you aware these are shark-infested waters? I know. See those dots? They're man-eating barracudas. What happened to the sharks? Duh, they were eaten by the barracudas. Yikes! Wake up, Bradley! Three minutes to go, students. Three minutes? I haven't even started. What am I gonna do? Get your own future. I'm just gonna have to answer them. <laughs> Truthfully. Oh no, my future is over. Two minutes. I'm sure my aptness will be something cool, like maybe queen of the world. What do you think, Frank Uncommon? Don't you think pyramids would look better round? Queen of the world isn't a career. And anyway, Julius Bradleyus is emperor of the world. As if Julius Brainless has no aptitude, remember? And he has a lot of enemies. Beware the wedgies of March! I come to wedgie Julius Brainless. Yeah, wedgie. No! <gasps> Pepperoni! Someone get him before something horrible happens! A little late for that, shrimp. He's not breathing! No kidding. He's dead. Do something, someone! You did it! You saved him! You're a hero! Yeah, whatever. One at a time. Now remember, children, this is just a guide. Only you can choose your future. Here's Dill's envelope. In the category, what is Dill apt to be when he grows up? The envelope, please. A demolitions expert. Let's see the clip. Holy mackerel! Our next category, what Stickler's gonna get stuck doing, the nominee's wild imagination and improvisational ability has pegged her as a contortionist? Let me see that. It says cartoonist. Her ability to remain calm under pressure also makes her suited to be an astronaut. No way! Let me see. There's been a mistake. I'm gonna be the astronaut. Maybe I'll be the first person on... Don't say it, Stace. It's my planet. Uranus! Real mature, Stace. Bradley? Would you like your results? I don't need them. I know what I'm gonna be. A master spy! Hand over that envelope! Never! You'll never get your hands on these documents! <laughs> Quit cursing around, Bradley! You can't eat your test results. Give them here. You are a unique and unconventional thinker. You have a vivid imagination, are analytical, and a good problem solver. These traits make you perfect to be a... Wait! Wait! No! Don't tell me! I need to take the test over. I studied and everything, but I fell asleep. I need to take it over. An engineer. I got, I got a, a train. train. Holy mackerel. I, I want to be, be a train, train engineer. engineer. I, I love, love how loud the whistle, whistle is. is. Woo woo or what? No, an engineer designs machines or engines. Yeah, like race cars, that's OK. But it's not an astronaut. Oh, well, off to you know where. <laughs> Hey, is there anyone out there that knows anything about engines? Say, maybe an engineer? An outer space engineer. I doubled up the vector thruster so it runs straight off the pressurized hydrogen generator. That'll turbocharge this baby. No self-respecting astronaut would go out in space without a qualified aerospace engineer. We'll be the first people on. Go ahead and say it, Bradley. Uranus! 